Okay, it's uh, end of October 2020. This is the start of a uh, loop ride from Seaford in the south of Adelaide, around through the Southern Vales Wine District, up through the Range Hills to Kaipo Forest, and then on to Mount Barker. It'll take us three days, but after that, we're heading from Mount Barker to Mount Compass, and then coming back along the south coast, back to Seaford. It's around about a distance of 200 k's altogether, with two overnight stops. Escorted on the road by some uh, tearaways who are aiding us in our attempt to climb the big... Okay, a very steep hill heading to the top of the range. Don't know what it, the gradient is, but down in low gear turbo. Uh, well, we arrived in Mount Barker yesterday afternoon after a 70k ride up through Kaipo Forest and uh, through some undulating hill country and uh, spent the night in our uh, luxurious abode. Very nice little bike uh, lane that runs alongside the river, heads right around to the wetland area of Mount Barker. We've decided to take a detour off the route we were going to follow and heading up to the summit of uh, Mount Barker. Summit of uh, we've left uh, Meadows now after a very nice lunch at the cafe and we're heading out through Kaipo Forest heading for Mount Magnificent and then on to uh, Mount Compass. Through this area though a lot of the forest has already been cleared. There's stringy, stringy bark forest on this side which is more native forest but I don't think they actually clear that. Okay entering Kaima Conservation Park. Have to go over the grid here making sure you're not carrying any diseases on your feet.
magnificent. Looked a bit steep for us to actually ride the bikes up, so stopped for afternoon tea after climbing and climbing and climbing and uh, taking a break. Travelling along part of the Heisen Trail now. Probably not really organised for bikes. Very sandy, a lot of bracken, and a very narrow little trail. Okay, we've come out of the bracken area near Mount Compass, still on the Heisen Trail, we think. Uh, into a very open wooded field but the track is still quite sandy hard to negotiate okay, do, do me a story Where, whereabouts are we Dave? Oh, the lovely uh, Compass Caravan Park Right. It's a delightful. Uh, in the deluxe cabin? Uh, not as deluxe as the one at Mount Barker, but okay. still quite deluxe. Very deluxe. Very Two nice. double beds. Two nice. double beds. Yeah. Very nice. Right, Mount Compass Caravan Park, thoroughly recommended, uh, nice comfortable little cabins and uh, excellent pillows I must say, but uh, a nice, nice spot to stay if you're coming through this way. Okay, we're uh, riding around the back of Mount Compass on Lancuna Road takes us parallel to Pages Flat Road heading for Selex Hill. This is uh, Mai Ponga, a small village on the edge of the Mai Ponga Reservoir. There are some walks and uh, riding you can do here. But while we're here we thought we'd have a look at uh, how you can travel when you're actually on a bike tour. There are two ways. One you can carry everything with you, like this bike, which has a pack on the front. It has a lot of electronics on it, down to a spare battery, two batteries on this bike. And then we go up to the backpack and all the back bags on the back. Now that's one way of travelling. There is another way. You can travel light, like this gentleman. And all he's got, one I've pair got of full, jocks. I have uh, uh, a speedometer uh, come uh, GPS. And Electronics. A drink bottle, just in case. And the pack. It's not a big pack. That's it, fully loaded. We're just out of uh, my Ponga now. We're heading to the base of Selex Hill to the start of what was the old coach road that they used to go to Victor Harbour on. So it's been closed off part of it, but you can still get the bikes through. So we'll climb to the top, then we'll head down the closed section.
come down from Selix Hill and now following the coast road along Aldinga Beach on the seafront, now heading back towards Moana.